and good afternoon i welcome you to today's trading spotlight webinar here together with admirals it's friday it's the 14th of january 2022 and today yeah today we want to have a look at a very fascinating topic trading and sports and what do athletes and traders have in common um before we start um first of all let me just write down here in the chat box where you can ask all your questions now within the next 45 five to 50 minutes here it's good uh hello traders not good 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 day traders but so hello traders um this is this is uh, where you can ask all your questions um if you watch the recording now on uh, youtube then uh, please feel free to subscribe to the youtube channel um set a reminder um here or at, at least um uh, what is this like the like the checkbox uh, that you that you get notified um every time once we are um um running a webinar here in the uh admiral's youtube channel you don't miss any so that you don't miss any of these videos and, and webinars we run here it's not just me it's also my colleague paul and uh, marcus um with his daily morning show respectively paul then with the uh, next upcoming hot topic webinar i think it will be um I think we postponed it because next week is special. So next week we have uh, we have uh, um, um, all of us, in fact, and give our outlook for the next um, uh, for the next year for the upcoming months then for the market. So a discussion between um, Paul, Marcus, and me, and then the week after I think uh, Paul will be here once again. So, um, <clears throat> however, set a reminder so that you don't miss any of the videos that uh, we produce here for you. Next week is special with us uh, three, and today, as I already said. We will have a look here at sports and traders and ask or answer the question what traders and athletes have in common so um let me share my screen first and then uh let's go here through the slides before we start first of all i mentioned admirals already at the beginning i want to mention admirals here um especially once again since this is the broker making all this possible within this industry fx and cfd for now um over 20 years and I'm offering over 8,000 financial instruments, not just FX and CFD, but a true multi-asset broker. So also you can trade physical stocks, you can you can trade um, ETFs, um, um, everything. And there is um, plenty more and may, way more to come, in fact. Um, Admirals um, was Admiral Markets, and then there was a rebranding taking place, and this is exactly where we closed the cycle, in fact, um, because uh, now with the rebranding going hand in hand, we have also now um, other financial products and, and offerings, which um, Admirals plans to offer within the next months, in fact, a, on top of the already expanded product range, and you have now, for example, a chance here to, to um, um, uh, get access to a credit card, for example, but in addition to that, there's also plenty of um, um, in the loop when it comes to crypto, for example. So all this being said, um, stay tuned, check out the website, admiralmarkets.com for further information, admirals.com. Both are um, impossible to, to get access to the uh, product range and offering and more information. Also on top on, um, of that, what I just mentioned, um, um, also when it comes to regulation questions, regulatory questions, please feel free. This is now the next slide, one world, one broker. Um, there is um, also the possibility to reach out to um, um, a representative, Admiral's representative in your respective language. High chance that you will reach out with over 20 offices around the globe. And um, that being said, feel free to not just um, 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 here check out the product, but also the great service. And uh, in this context, ask all your questions, send an email, contact them via phone. So several ways um, to, to get access to this um, service. Uh, experience. And um, let's now jump into today's agenda here and have a look at uh, these topics. In fact, competitiveness, focus, solid fundament, thanks to hard training, mental toughness and willingness to improve. So uh, when looking at it from an from a, um, athlete perspective, I think um, it already becomes quite clear um, um, uh, that, that, that these are traits of, of successful athletes. But um, it's not just athletes who profit from this, but also um, this is to some extent, um, especially when it comes to competitiveness, um, um, it's something which is uh, in the blood of every trader, everyone um, who's a professional trader already profitable, and all of those also um, thinking about uh, getting the foot into the door of, of trading the markets. And um, we'll have a deeper look at these uh, 
character traits here in the upcoming minutes. And we want to jump here, um, um, first of all, into, into uh, the first slide and then um, um, here have a look, in fact, at this um, overall topic. Let's, let's look at it from an introduction and perspective. Um, here is a picture from someone you might have um, um, seen in the past. I think he um, already um, um, ended his career, if I'm not mistaken. This guy is Usain Bolt. Um, and uh, in fact, personally, it took me a while um, um, until I realized that there's this strong connection between athletes and traders. So it's not uh, that I that I wasn't aware of the fact that there's um, something like hard training um, or being focused when I trade the markets. But I'm also um, usually very, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm athletic or I, I, I work out quite hard. And um, on top of that, I also um, um, performed in several competitions um, in the world of martial arts um, when I was um, younger. In fact, yeah, I'm at the, in, my, in my higher 30s now, but uh, around 20 years ago. Um, I was I was also competing in um, um, uh, in, in, in um, yeah, sometimes professional fights. In fact, it wasn't really no, it was more amateur fights. But still, um, 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 we had some 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 competitions back then, and um, so all in all, I have to 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 say well. I, I've been um, that kind of guy all my life, in fact, and uh, all all the time wanted to improve and all the time wanted to compete with others, see where I stand, where can um, um, where I can get better. And um, over time, I realized that um, it's what it wasn't really a coincidence that I um, then stepped into the world of trading. I mean, certainly, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in my in my early twenties, especially um, the main driver why I wanted to trade the market was because I was looking for making. Um, um, uh, money and I was I was um, looking for becoming uh, successful and I, I wanted to to um, uh, yeah I don't know <laughs> have, have the, the the nicest and and um, 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 best looking girls around me fast cars so classic um, 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 male uh, thinking in this in this um, um, early 20 area in fact but um, I think there was more to that because um, and this is usually something which is which which is um, quite common in this context. There was all all the time this 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 competitiveness aspect, especially getting better and all that. And um, so when I drew this this connection, then um, I, I that was in fact once um, this this guy here, Usain Bolt, um, uh, entered the world of of sports and athletics, and uh, you became aware of that. I mean, that was um, a new era. I mean, um, um, one hundred meters in this context, um, and where he where he uh, competed and where he performed extraordinarily well with world um, records um, being set and all that. Um, the thing is that um, I, I, I all the time had um, a view on these uh, um, 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 races. I mean, um, that, that was already before. I'm, I'm not sure. I think I first um, came in contact with that. It was already when I was um, something like 10 or so. Um, um, a Carl Lewis probably is a name. Um, but still, I, I didn't I didn't uh, draw this this um, this line here from from um, athletics to to trading. And then when um, I became older um, and, and Usain Bolt, Enter the stage, and that that became clear. Then that uh, this guy here won really eight gold medals, was the most successful um, 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 sprinter of all time, um, running a world record after world record. In fact, um, running for less in his whole career, um, earning these um, eight, um, eight gold medals in three Olympics here in uh, something like one hundred fifteen to one hundred twenty seconds. Uh, but and this is the thing earned also more than 100 million US dollars, um, um, not by, by just sprinting, running, but by also all um, and everything connected to this, like um, um, I'm having his, his, his deals then when it came to commercials and all that, so on and so forth. But um, the thing is, what, what's very interesting in this context, you can be fascinated by, um, by, by everything he achieved during his career and um, um, making so much money in uh, such a short period of time. But the interesting thing is that this is just what you what you see um, on the surface. It's in fact more than that because he trained more than twenty years to get to that point to perform at this high level and be um, um, there once it, it, it counted. Um, and this is exactly what here um, um, comes to comes to um, mind when it comes to the world of, of trading. 
So, in fact, it wasn't really, and that is the last bullet point here in the slide, it, it wasn't really that, that Usain Bolt made his money sprinting, even though it looks um, as if he did this, but it was more like a marathon he was running. And um, that being said, the um, um, character traits, which um, um, were probably the main drivers for his success, were competitiveness, were focus, being um, um, hard a worker, so working out really hard here, and always willing to improve and staying mentally stable. So I mean, if every um, um, uh, camera, if every fan is looking at you, millions around the globe watching you, uh, the pressure is is, is, is enormous here. And um, so we want to dig deeper into these um, character traits here in the upcoming minutes. And, um, and in fact, here, one sec. Uh, <laughs> uh, Darshan, Darshan writes, I remember the meeting you got from an Indian chap. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, I remember well. <laughs> um, no, um, so let's let's have a look now at these character traits and uh, dig deeper into them. And I try to to make this more um, interactive, let's say, and, and, and uh, use quotes from, uh, well, let's call them sporting gods or uh, people everyone knows has seen once in a while over time uh, one pro potential hero of my childhood even though I never played b basketball but um, uh, there was once uh, a time once there was a guy who um, became famous saying I play to win whether during practice or real game a very very competitive um, human being in fact and I just recently by the way um, I listened to an um, audiobook from a guy called Phil Jackson you probably have heard about this guy this is um, the um, uh, trainer of the Chicago Bulls uh, during their series of winning I think six rings I think was with the Chicago Bulls he afterwards also made another three or something brought three or four rings home uh, with the LA Lakers but um, Phil Jackson became famous as being the coach of the Chicago Bulls and had, or had the star player of the Chicago Bulls was certainly Michael Jordan he wasn't the only one alone um, 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 he would probably not have achieved what, what the Bulls achieved but he was a, the face of the Bulls um, together with the Scotty Pippen and all these guys probably um, Horace Grant and all that and so on and so forth so that was um, when I was yeah somebody. 10 years old or so i also um, um i looked up to this guy he was some um, all over every sport um, magazine you you could get your hands on and um so the, the interesting thing about this is that that um, um he was i i probably consider him to be kind of a perfectionist even though sometimes perfection can be a hindrance when it comes to trading because um, sometimes um let's say you have a checklist let's let's go here through this first and then look at competitiveness uh, in the second step um like you, you have probably a checklist you won't have to 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 go through to say okay this is a stock which is probably of interest for me today because um, um it has this catalyst fundamental catalyst it has a gap higher or um, 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 lower depends on whether on the up or on the downside of minimum three percent i need an average daily trading volume of minimum one million shares which are traded each day i also have to have a so-called pre-market volume so uh, between um in, in german time it's 2 p.m till 3 30 um, um german time um, I, I want to see 10% of this average daily trading volume being traded. I have to make a check for each one. And then I say, okay, this is a stock which is of interest for me today. So for example, taking um, exactly that and what stocks are of interest. I mean, we have a potential prolonged um, 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 uh, weekend now with Martin Luther King Day. By the way, I, I recommend checking out AdmiralMarkets.com here for information on um, um, uh, uh, changes when it comes to the um, overall trading hours um probably yeah well probably we will we'll see kind of a, of a, a calm um, um, um end to the week depending a little on how things develop now after risk off came in um earnings season will kick off in around two weeks from now but still today there's some stocks which um fulfill these criteria for me for example like um las vegas sands for example L lvs or jp morgan also delivered earnings there's a fundamental catalyst in case, case of, of, of las vegas sense lvs it's um, um a news which came from um, macau like this 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 gambling um uh, paradise let's say um in the um 
in the east uh and okay coming back here now to uh, to this checklist um perfection in this case so sometimes i mean even if now for example the average daily trading volume is not 10 percent, but it's only eight percent let's say of the average daily trading volume that's um i'm not uh let's say um, um, um a reason why i don't trade the stock then or i don't consider the stock um still it could be of interest and i will still formulate a game plan respectively a hypothesis then to trade based on that so Perfection can be a hindrance. Um, this is also true for um, um, for trading. Sometimes you just have to go for it. You just have to 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 um, 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 to to push the button and 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 to take the trade. Um, if you're if you're not comfortable taking it, well, reduce the position size. But still, be in the game. You here and take in terms of trading, you learn on the job. The same is true when it comes to sports. So um, sometimes uh, you, you still have room to improve. Um, but there's nothing which can beat experience in this case. And uh, so that's what I what I'm talking about when it when it comes to perfectionism. But in addition to perfectionism or being a perfectionist, um, Michael Jordan was also very, very competitive. And um, I think it, it comes with no um, um, coincidence here that top athletes and also top traders are very competitive by nature, as I already said in during the introduction. Um, and it's like um, it's it's um, all the time a search here for for an edge, which in fact separates um, the athlete respectively the trader here um from from uh, um from the from from the average guy let's say um so and 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 looking for an edge is not just by finding which um market suits my personality best and my trading style having a, um, a strategy with an edge but in addition to that also find ways to improve mentally to to stay mentally stable focused um for example visualizing your trades before uh, meditate for example um there's there there's plenty of, of, of ways to, to, to track your overall being with the smartwatches, for example, um, like um, what's your heart rate, for example. So that sounds a little, sometimes a little irritating, some people might say, but um, let's assume you, you are already um, a proven profitable trader. Um, but you're still trying to improve, so you you have to stay um, um, ahead of the, or ahead in the game by constantly improving and finding ways how to improve. In terms of, for example, tracking your heart rate, that sounds ridiculous at first glance. In case of an athlete, that makes sense. In case of a trader, it makes sense too if you look um, or dig a little deeper. So just like track your heart rate and then um, 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 see how your um, um, how your heart beat changes once you enter trade sometimes you probably look at the chart that so this is this is very very um some might say pathological um sounds ridiculous at first glance but um there might be hints at least um if you if you want to bring forward um, um the best or or uh, uh, turn the best um, um inside out let's say and 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 be the best version of yourself where you can say well if i'm really calm comfortable and there is no significant change in my heartbeat that's probably a sign that really everything fits here and i should really go for it so this this seems really to be an in this case a plus setup for example for for my trading if this is not given that could be a hint that something's wrong and that you probably need to change, adapt here, find out what's wrong here, and then take it from there, build from there. So this is like um, perfection, um, perfectionism brought to the next level. You probably have never thought about it that way. Um, and this is also um, all coming down to being really competitive because you always want to be not just the best version of yourself, but beat the comp um, 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 your, 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 your competition in this case. So that shouldn't be the first and the main driver, but um, at the end of the day, I mean, um, when, when, when I win in a trade, there must be someone losing something in a trade. That's a simple um, solution. The same is true when I'm losing, um, someone else is picking up what I'm leaving on the table. Let's put it that way. And um, so, in fact, uh, it's, it's most of the time uh, that, that this competitiveness, in fact, acts as um, a very strong self-motivating driver, in fact, and giving the trader, but also the athlete, the strength to go the extra mile, let's say. So um, like this, this is very interesting. Um, so a personal um, um, story from, from the gym, for example. So I'm working out um, back then and, and 20 years ago when I, when I um, um, uh, uh, competed in this, this martial arts um, um, environment let's say uh i was um i was i was training together 
um, with um, today my best friend. So we, we um, 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 got to know each other back then and, and we um, um, not just trained together, but we also uh, practiced and, 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 and went through several um, axioms together and all that and so on and so forth. And we also competed in, in um, 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 uh, um, tournaments. And so well, where today um, we, we are getting older and, and you somehow um, take a step back here, but we still work out every week together in the gym, meet each other three weeks, uh, three times a week. And um, now the, the interesting thing about this is uh, that's something I have to add here. He is um, 15 years older than me. So that means he's already in his early 50s. Um, but still, it's like um, he's looking over to me when, for example, we're then um, um, going on a, um, I don't know how, how we call this, this is like the, the cardio um, um, element here, like um, um, on a bicycle or um, on the cross trainer or whatever. And he's always looking at me and saying, okay, if, um, if, if Jens here um, um, hits it really hard, I have, to, I have to compete here. I have to, I, I, I want to stay at the same level. I mean, in 15 years, um, there's a point once you realize, okay, now you're not the youngest um, um, guy in the gym anymore, but still he's way ahead of many, many years younger guys um, working out there in their early mid twenties and he's in his early fifties. So this is like the, the competitive element here in this um, um, context, um, which, which um, comes um, um, here to, to, to the surface um, in, in the gym or among athletes and in the world of sport. And it's the same when it comes to trading. So like um, you, you just wanna put in the extra work and, and, and this competitiveness, um, 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 point here you just want to put in the extra work go the extra mile to compete at your best possible level become the best version of yourself which will naturally bring you ahead of the game and give you the edge you need to make money consistently in the long run um and um yeah so um there are many many stories as you can see um, um i have my personal one i think everyone listening here has this personal story around this and um in the world of of um, um, um sports and also in the world of trading there's many stories from athletes who succeeded in a competition even being heavily injured for example but realizing the pain only afterwards so there's so much adrenaline um, um during the competition it was just like um, i mean there, there, there are stories i, I just um I read a book um a story from uh from from uh from a woman i think it's um, um she she was a rower so so rowing in the olympics and um during practicing uh, that was i think 1992 i don't i don't even know the name i, I have to look it up um but um, um she she was she was um, um heavily injured and 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 and, and really injured with, with her legs. Um, so there was another boat which rammed her boat and uh, she she had to um, take, I think, five operations or something like that. She couldn't even walk. So um, she, she, she came to the Olympics. She couldn't walk. Um, and people were looking at her, hey, oh, cool. You you have a TV job here. So moderating. And she was, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not here to moderate anything, but I'm here to compete. And um, she finished third. So um, uh, got a bronze medal and, and brought the bronze medal um, I'm home then. And uh, so I think this is a difficult um, um, example because she knew already beforehand that she was injured, but she was focused and she was so exhausted during uh, the competition, but she was willing to put in the extra work. And this is bringing us, in fact, uh, to the next point here. Um, it's the focus which which counted here massively and which was um, 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 the main reason for her. She was really bringing the focus all the time when, when it shifted back from um, the, the competition and from her performance. Um, she was... Um, saying okay it's another 10 seconds come on focus on 10 seconds this is not much you can do this and then she focused again the pain came back she was like hey, hey come on 10 seconds and taking it from there so the competitiveness here and and then bringing the focus all the time back and being focused all the time that was um what at the end resulted in her performing at an extraordinarily high level and bringing home bronze medal, even though she was heavily injured or on, um, um, only several months ago and after five operation have been taking place. So bringing us to the next point. So the focus here and um, the focus, uh, there's another guy. So I'm, I'm talking about martial arts here. The successful warrior is the average man with laser, uh, with laser like focus and uh, who, who was the the guy behind this this um this quote was bruce lee so um as i already pointed out i think it became already clear what i what i'm talking about when i talk about focus so athletes and traders win and lose both um, but both know that it's not 
one game or trait which defines them and their long-term success, but it's the sum of right and good decisions. Um, so this is very interesting because um, now you might probably say, what has this to do with the story you just said um, or told us? Um, in, in, um, I'm focusing on the next 10 seconds here. It was 10 seconds, then 10 seconds, and another 10 seconds, and another 10 seconds. Um, so in, 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 in terms of trading, you would say, well, focus on one good trade and then do one good trade and then one good trade. And you just keep on doing, you just keep on pushing yourself um, over the edge over and over and over again. Follow the rules, have a clear predefined plan you follow, you execute well, you do your best to grow based on mistakes you, you make here and then take in it the next step and the next step and the next step. And knowing this and 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 keeping the focus here is uh well, that, that's usually something where, where you then come to, like, you don't take a loss personally in this case, um, but it's like a, a learning experience. It's like um, you have a growth mindset by nature, let's say. Um, this is especially true when it comes uh, to trading, but also in the world of, of, of sports then here. So, I mean, there's competition and, and, and ego plays a major role. So um, most of these most greatest athletes have big, big egos. And the same is also true for trading, but um, having a big ego does not necessarily mean um, that you um, don't know when your edge is not given anymore, but that you know once you're beaten and once you have to change gears and once you have to adapt here, this is like self-confidence. So you're, you're, I'm, I'm, I'm self-confident um, because you know yourself really, really well and can focus on what you do well and execute on your plan and not focus or at least try to, to reduce um, what you, what you're not well at. And knowing where you're strong and where you don't strong is focusing on where you're strong and improve there and try to minimize um, something where you're not doing well or where you do not um, 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 perform well because you know that. And um, so like being being um, focused here and, and for example, not taking um, um, a loss personal leaves us with a clear mind all the time. So um, keeping the long-term vision, like work hard and waiting discipline for the next chance. Um, and this is, this is um, um, also something which is like um, perfectly illustrating personally, I would say, why um, when talking about trading, we're talking about a mental game. It's, but it's not just, it's not just um, a trading, it's sports, it's the same. Like um, um, at the end of the day, it's only uh, nuances, let's say. It's like, um, um, let's say in, in terms of, 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 of motorsports, for example. I mean, um, some might say, well, is this really sport? Some say that. Um, I think it's um, um, one of the toughest um, sports in the world because you have to really be... Um, 100% not just um, 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 uh, from, a, from, a, from, a, from a fitness perspective, but also from a mental perspective. And then look at Formula One, for example. So in Formula One, it's a tenth of a second sometimes, which makes the difference. Um, so some might say, well, yeah, but mechanical aspects, engineering aspects play a role here. But the thing is like um, being capable of performing at the highest possible level and, and, and really um, um, be better one tenth of a second than your direct competitor is most of the time a combination between um, engineering and, and, and a great team of engineers at one hand, but also on your capabilities to visualize um, here um, the, the track in your head and really then use this and refocus again. Once you made a small mistake, like uh, that was, and, and this is something you, you just feel if, if something's not working um, right in this moment, you can change it, right? Like, or driving, driving skis, this is, is the same, probably um, even better because um, this is a direct um, contact here with, with the, uh, with the track in this context. And, and it just feel like, okay, that was a small mistake. That was like, a, um, a little um, stone or whatever, um, which, which just um, 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 interrupted my focus here. And then having a chance then to, to refocus again within um, 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 like this, snapping with your fingers and being focused again. This is where um, um, there's the big difference between then the guy standing at the first um, 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 place and you finishing second or third. Um, so the next thing, um, I mean, obviously, all this comes down here to to hard work in the um, um, uh, in the in the um, 
yeah, world of sports, but also in the world of trading. And there was there was another quote from a guy um, we already uh, saw in, in in the first slide, Michael Michael Jordan. So he says, everyone everybody has talent, but ability takes hard work. So um, I've over my career as a trader, um, but also over over the course of, of, of working out, I've seen so many guys, I met so many guys um, who had incredible talent. And I, I really, I, I was, I'm not a jealous person, but sometimes it was like, wow, that, that's something I'd give something for. Um, um, that I, I'd really like to have this, um, um, this, 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 um, let's say, um, uh, the, the, not the body, but um, the muscle tension, the, um, 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 the smoothness in your moves, for example, when it comes to sport, when it comes to trading, like um, having the, the deep understanding of, of the market um, and bringing these um, puzzle pieces together here. Um, I'd really give something for that. But at the end of the day, um, they did not perform as good as I did most of the time because they were lacking the hard work um, behind this because they were taking their talent for granted. Um, there's uh, several um, areas in our in our overall um, daily lives, I think, and, and and we probably all know someone who has an incredible um, 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 level of, of skill in one area. Um, or talent, but um, is not really capable of capitalizing on it or performing well when it comes to the world of sports and and, and, and the athlete um, um, arena here, uh, because well he's just lacking the the hard working aspect, focusing on good nutrition, not drinking alcohol or too much alcohol, let's say, um, or um, getting getting good sleep, for example. This is this is very very important when it comes here um, to trading too, right? And um, I think no one will argue that um, hard work and thus building this solid fundamental, leveling the path to greatness. Um, 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 should be underestimated or is, is, is crucial here. Um, and here in this context, let's have a look back then um, um, at basketball. Again, I never played basketball, um, but I was really fascinated by um, these, um, by the book, by, it was a biography, right? From, from Phil Jackson, I highly recommend it. I think it's called 11 Rings um, from Phil Jackson. It's, it's a great, um, 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 great book. And so, um, let's have a look here at basketball. So even professionals here, um, like Jordan, but also there are other um, 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 examples like Kobe Bryant, for example. Um, um, I think or, and this is just the, the, the great stars of this um, um, NBA basketball world. I think LeBron James and so on and so forth. Um, but um, there are many others here. And um, these professionals, really, they work hours on owning their basic skills. They're really owning um, their basic skills, like working on layups, jump shots, taking free sh um, uh, throw shooting, for example, and really improving there, doing it over and over and over again, get one rep, get another rep, another rep, another rep. And some people might say, well, does it really make sense? Well, the thing is, um, these basic skills then is what you what you use to build up on. And um, it's um, 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 basic skills with which are then within um, 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 your blood or the blood of, of, the, of the of the player then. And uh, for example, um, in case of, of Jordan, I remember there was an um, uh, there was a there was a free throw he took. I think it was against the Utah Jazz, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um, he closed his eyes and he still um, um, scored. So that was like um, I mean. Some might say, well, this is very arrogant, but I'm bringing it back um, here to um, owning the basic skills, like um, knowing what you're doing and being capable of executing, even with your eyes closed. This is then where you see, okay, this is, um, um, this is not about um, 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 competence anymore, but this is like really relying on your unconscious competence. competence. So, so, so really having it within you due to um, um, going rep after rep after rep after rep then. And in case of professional traders, it's the same. Like, um, well, what we do each day is like we study the markets, we study really hard. And then whenever we can, um, um, we try to somehow improve, even on the weekends. Um, and this is then where, where the big difference comes into play. Some, some might say, well, the week so far was very, very difficult. Um, after, let's say, what, what can we say here? Um, after, so I just, I just checked, the, checked the chart here. So now it's 3.30. So US markets open. Um, and, and we see, for example, look at like the tech sector for, for this week. So some people might probably have taken several attempts to trade, let's say Tesla long or whatever. Um, and then you probably took one hit or then another hit. Then there was this bounce on the, over the last 
two days or something like Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday, Tuesday, probably in the afternoon, um, um, especially Wednesday and Tesla. And then yesterday, the stock got hit very hard again. And probably you're underwater for this week. So starting into the year, after two weeks, you're probably underwater. And who really wants to now sit down over the weekend and um, see what went wrong and try to improve? Go through the charts again, then on top of that, finding new spots where you can then continue to trade well next week and the week after and the week after. And um, this is exactly where the difference comes into play. Some might say, well, I just don't want to have something to do with trading anymore. And that's why I am not checking my charts. I'm not checking what went wrong. I just don't go the extra mile. We made the topic already in the slide before. And um, this is then, um, um, this, is, this is the hard working part. So it's like um, confront yourself with your mistakes again, try to grow here um, and, 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 and try to get repetition, re re repeat and over, over repeat again and again and again, and go through this, this pain also connected with losing trade, for example, again and again and again to, to make it back, better next time. And um, this is all what, what um, I think what the, the um, um, professional successful traders um, make or are what way they are different from those not making money trading the markets. It's not much. But um, um, that the, the, the small difference is something the professional trader repeats over and over and over and over, over again. And um, so professional traders, coming back to, to the slide here, improve their knowledge all the time. And even when it comes to the basics, like support resistance, for example. So they don't overcomplicate things, but they look at the basic skills and they try to improve everything they can and, 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 and learn about um, uh, the recent moves here to just improve, to just get better and be able, in case of, of, of this example I just brought here with um, um, Jordan throwing the free throw um, with eyes closed, then executing with eyes closed, even though <laughs> certainly you should watch this chart. So the next slide. Um, also, um, a legend um, bringing, bringing up this, this quote here, athletes and traders are mentally tough. I mean, no question about that. We already mentioned this. There was a quote um, from, a, from an athlete we all know, um, champions have to have the skill and the will, but the will must be stronger than the skill. So um, this is like a, a, yeah, it's, it's like like a, like a like a poem. And then who's famous for this? He's uh, it's 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 Muhammad Ali. So every time, and um, this is not uh, related here to um, uh, to to uh, to Ali, but but to tennis in this case. Every time I watch, for example, a tennis game. Um, from someone like Roger Federer, especially. So also I'm, I'm a very competitive um, sportsman, probably one of the um, greatest athletes all, of all time, probably the greatest tennis player um, 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 ever. Um, the thing is that I'm all the time really, really impressed, uh, impressed by the fact how calm, and it's not just related to, to Federer, but also to guys like Novak Djokovic, like, um, um, Rafael Nadal and... and, and, and who is, who is also there, like um, Andy Murray. Um, probably the names have changed a little because my, my focus switched from tennis um, a little, but still, these are the guys I'm, I'm, um, I've seen over the years performing at their highest possible level. And then I'm all, all the time, I'm very impressed to see once there's the match point then, um, how calm they stay. So at least at first glance. So you look at the players and you just think, well, this is the match point. It's not just the match point, it's the championship point, okay? Um, and it's a it's a close a close call. So like, um, I don't know, like Wimbledon in 2008, uh, Nadal against um, a Federer, for example. And then there's this match point. I think it wasn't Federer who won this game, but it was Nadal, but it doesn't really matter. It's like you you, you look at this guy and, and you really see, okay, wow, these, he's really calm and performing at as high as possible level. And how how is, he, how is he capable of doing this um, with all the pressure now lying on the shoulders? The same is true for, for penalty shootout um, um, during the World Cup, for example. Um, and the thing is, uh, what, what I came across here, the mental stability part, is um, that this goes hand in hand with the, with the mental toughness top traders have in common with top athletes here. Um, what's interesting is that they are really capable of focusing and, and, and really here, don't let their emotions uh, cloud their judgment here, uh, but handle the stress here and pressure as something completely normal. Really focus on the best possible execution. Don't waste their time with second guessing, with um, 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 like, I, I don't believe in myself or something like that, but really focus on this one shot. 
this one shot, it's what, what all is count and what all my, my focus has to be on. And then it's one shot and then one shot and then one shot. And at the end, um, the better the shots and, and the small edge I capitalize on over and over and over again, the better the result will be. And most likely I will, I will win the game respectively in case of a trade, I will see my equity curve growing in this case. Um, the thing now is, if if or if you, yeah, I think this is this is a main topic. If you want to consider stress and 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 also pressure to be something completely normal, um, it yeah it means that you, you you have to have to to go through this plenty of times over and over again and grow with the experience of going through this um, pressure um, environment here in this case. Um, and the reps here, the repetition is what, what counts at the end of the day. So like the more you execute, and this is then closing the cycle and what I said at the beginning here, um, it's like um, um, imperfect or perfection can be a hindrance this is bringing us here to this point now you can see that the, that there's some um, the lines which are um, not quite clear um there's not a clear border where one ends and the other um, um, um starts in this context so the thing is um if you if you don't execute if you don't have the experience in feeling the pressure being under fire in this case you're having the trade on and then going from there if you don't have this and repeat this even with a small position size and this is especially true and important to realize so if if you have someone an experienced trader professional trader saying hey reduce the position size um, he's not saying that that you um, um, just just so that you that you don't lose if you lose, which is likely because you don't have the experience a professional um, a profitable trader has, but it's also about repeat because um, this is what builds mental stability, mental toughness in this context, and where strength comes from, the repetition and over and over and over again, and then draw the right conclusions out of your mistakes um, and, and allow yourself to make mistakes, but grow in this context then when it comes to the mental toughness part. And um, finally, another one from Muhammad Ali, I can already say that it's uh, athletes and traders, um, which are willing to improve. So um, Ali once said that um, he doesn't count his sit ups, but he only starts counting when it starts hurting, because this is um, um, the only ones that really count. Um, and this is very, very interesting, because um, this is also bringing me then to the point where I put myself in this context over the edge over and over again. So now the new year started. Um, and I, I said, said, well, you know what, I want to grow now. And I put some extra weights on. It's not that I'm that I'm, 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 I'm here, like um, I'm putting so much weight, um, let's say on the bar or um, increase the, the, the cardio or um, 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 the miles I take here, when, uh, when, when, for example, working out and, 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 and um, yeah, running or something like that. This is not the case that I'm completely exhausted and, and risk of getting um, injured here, but it's more like I want to grow. And when I may, when, when I just realize, okay, this is this is too much because this is some um, um, potentially hurting me. Well, I reduce it, but still I try to bring it one step further. And this is just not just in terms of athletes um, um, and traders, true, but also when it comes to um, 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 training your brain. So some of you probably recall um, the webinars we held in the past, and it was talking about um, cognitive strengths. Like um, if you're a scalper, uh, you, you, for example, have another set of cognitive strengths than someone who is a global macro trader, let's say, and then trading um, longer term timeframes. And, and there's some different um, 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 cognitive strengths which come into play here. So that being said, you need to find out where are your cognitive strengths. That's one of the reasons why I'm also using not just um, um, to get emotional stability or meditating or visualizing um, this, this, this Headspace app. But in addition to that, I'm also using something which is called brain hq um, and brain hq is great because there's um the chance then to to um, um train your brain to put it that way so and now um i'm i went through this already over the the last 12 months um, um over and over and over again so there's plenty of, of of ways to 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 train your brain in fact and then when i start over again um I say, well, this is what you achieved last time. And now I want to achieve one step more. It just needs to be one step more. But this is the small step I want to make every day. And even if I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm playing, let's say five games here to, to train the brain. Um, but I say, okay, well, I performed five here last time, five this time, five here last time, five this time, five last time, six now. 
Well, I grew. It's just one small step, and some might probably um, laugh about this, but this adds up over time. And this is exactly here um, where this, this, this quote comes into play. It's not just when it comes to um, um, trading and then when it comes to um, 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 sports, but it's also coming when you, when you train your brain, when you try to grow um, mentally and when you try to, to, to increase. Meditate, for example, let's say you start with five minutes, then you take it 10 minutes, then you take it 50 minutes. And, and believe me, this is really, really tough. It's like, like you have to really calm down, close your, your, your mind, let's say, and really find peace and, and mindfulness and this is what 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 this refers to mindfulness training so this is really really tough in fact um and even if if, if at first glance you might say well well what has this to do with sports um a lot because all this comes down to like bringing it to the extra mile going the extra mile one rep more this time one rep more after this time and this adds up over time and um so uh, Bringing this together now for the bullet point. So the best traders and the best athletes here are the best, let's call it the best, the best version of themselves, probably a better way to put it, but they are the best coming back here um, um, to, to, um, to this, yeah, probably best boxer, uh, boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali. Um, there's one reason, they don't stop. So they continue and prove wherever and whenever they can. And because they just can't stop, it's in their mind. It's, this, this is their personality. That doesn't mean that if you don't have this, um, 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 you can't compete as a trader or as an, as an athlete, but you have a first point where you should say, okay, well, I can, I can make this extra step. This is no big deal. Like, um, and, and this is now bringing us to a great book in this context, by the way. It's called Atomic Habits from James Clear. Um, I highly recommend reading this. It's, it's great because we have this webinar now at the beginning of the year 2022. And you will see if you start now, 12 months from now, you will see a tremendous, a tremendous growth. And, and by the way, we can also calculate this, by the way. So just to show you that, it's probably, um, I mean, that sounds a little abstract to some extent, but let's go here with, um, with a calculation, okay? So let's assume we start at one and then um, you don't improve. You just don't improve, and it's um, um, it's let's say 365 days a year, and you have one here in this context, and then you go 365 days, and you don't improve. You just stay the same. There's no change, no change at all. Now, what we do is, let's say we improve every day one percent. We try to be better tomorrow 1% than we were today. And today we try to be better 1% than we were yesterday. So however you now say, I, I wanna improve 1%, but let's say it's just 1%, three, it's 101 in this case, okay? And then you say, okay, I try to improve every day 1%, building on what I achieved. And then we go for 365 days a year, and this is what you get. 37. So this is like 37 fold a better version than you are today. If you improve every day over the next 36, uh, 30, 365 days, 1% every day. And this is, this is exactly um, what, I, what I mean with improvement. Um, it's not necessary to, to run a mar marathon, let's say next weekend or something like that, 42 um, um, kilometers. This is not necessary. Start with putting your shoes on, take your shoes on today, and go for a walk. You don't even need to run. Just go for a walk uh, around the block, let's say. And then tomorrow you say, well, I, I, I count my steps. Tomorrow I make one step more or 10 steps more. It's not much. You can easily do that. And then, well, you put your shoes on. You say, well, you know what? Now I run around the block. Now the target is not to, to get this done, let's say, within 10 minutes. But let's try to get it done in, let's say, eight minutes. Like walking faster. You start to run. And this is then where the repetition comes into play. So in my case, for example, I feel frustrated if I don't work out. Because it's just part of my, my, my routine to, to perform at my highest possible level in fact working out so today is friday i go to the gym this is even easier if you go um, um to the gym with a friend find someone who's also willing to improve here in this case and, and and go the extra mile try to to make it one step further this is where the best traders the best at least athletes start and then this is like a like a life tip but you will see that this naturally um, um, um will 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 result in a better performance in your trading because there you then ask yourself okay what does a good trader do? Okay, I'm a good trader. Oh, I want to be. I am a trader. And that's why I have to manage my risk. 
what's my risk? So there, first of all, I have to, to place a stop there for, and then you take it from there. So these are just small steps, but they add up as you've seen. And this is like um, bringing it together then here and coming back to this, to this um, um, quote then from Muhammad Ali. It's like, you, you try to grow. This is, this is what you focus on. And um, the best traders, the best athletes here know the value of practice and hard work here. They learn from their mistakes, growing mindset. There's also a great book. Um, it's Growth um, um, Mindset from Carol Dweck, also one of the books I highly recommend. And um, what they try also, in addition to that, is they try out new strategies to be fully equipped and prepared once their time comes and then perform and execute at the highest possible level. And um, so that's bringing us to the day's summary. So successful traits, um, traders, and athletes share our competitiveness, focus, solid fundament thanks to hard trading, mental toughness, and willingness to improve. And what I hope is um, that you see that it's um, I'm not set, set in stone. Let's say um, that that there's some um, like uh, um, 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 th th there's no border or something like that. But these these character traits here um, they they work with each other. So it's similar to the um, uh, three columns of professional or prof profitable trading in this case. Um, I, I already um, introduced several webinars ago, in fact, on um, uh, risk money management, trading psychology, and trading with an edge. Similar here when it comes to uh, uh, these character traits. And, and um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the webinar. Um, here is uh, the contact details. I promise at the beginning of the webinar, um, reach out to Atmos if you have further questions, not just on the webinars we're running. Again, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, set a reminder for the upcoming webinars next week. Again, special 21st, I'll um, discuss my outlook for the markets with Paul and Marcus together. Um, in addition to that, if you have questions on the product offering, Atmos um, and their sales and service representatives are there for you to help. And fully regulated broker, very important, here's the risk disclaimer. So read it carefully, and uh, I really look forward to the upcoming week. Um, all the best. Happy trading. Watch your stops. See you next week. Bye-bye.